This video will tell you why you shouldn't build a landing queue and explain how you might have a landing queue without realizing it and the method I use to clear my landing queue. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Fat Airlines. In World of Airports, you do not want to build a landing queue. The landing queue are the planes that were assigned a gate but are still in the air waiting for their time to land. When you add more airplanes to the landing queue, the arrival queue continues to generate arrivals. There is no benefit to having a lot of planes waiting to land and all it does is slow you down for when you have a connection or other cool planes from landing. Sometimes it can take almost a half hour or more to clear out the landing queue just to get a connection to finally land. I noticed that this can happen if you go into autopilot mode when handling planes. You may find yourself building an arrival queue without even realizing it. Planes will be added to your arrival queue and if you assign them to the a gate, they will then wait for landing. Although this stops the timer from moving, it is very easy to start to get backed up. In addition, if you leave the airport and come back, any airplane that was previously taxiing to their gate and did not reach their gate will also need to land again. This will take a lot of time, especially in certain airports where the taxi time is much longer. In order to clear the landing queues, I use a mix of filling the arrival queue, changing the arrival departure ratio, and using the stop button for the arrival queue. If you have a large landing queue, you will first want to update the arrival departure ratio from 1 to 1 to 2 to 1 or even 3 to 1. This means that for every three planes landing, one plane will then take off. This will allow more planes to arrive, which will clear up the landing queue. Next, you will want to use the stop button to stop all the arrivals from coming. Sometimes you may need to use up all of the stop time available. After all arrivals have been stopped and the stop timer has no time left, I recommend that you let planes sit in your queue for as long as possible. Computer airlines and your own fleet will automatically be assigned a gate when it times out. If there is no gate available, they will sit in queue until a gate is available. For player planes, they will be automatically assigned a gate when the arrival timer times out. However, if there are no gates available and the timer runs out, they will leave the airport arrival queue. If you let planes sit in the arrival queue as long as possible, it will accomplish the following. The planes that are landing can continue to land. The stop timer will replenish and your landing queue will get smaller. If you still have a landing queue after holding the planes in your arrival queue, you can restart the process by pressing the stop button and letting more planes land. You should not have an arrival queue because it slows down everything in your airport and makes you wait longer for a plane to land, which can be very bad when waiting for a connection plane to come in or for other planes to arrive. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel for more World of Airports information. Join the Fat Airlines Discord community to share your thoughts on this video, find connection partners, and talk about world airports. This is Fat Airlines. Have a fantastic day.